Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your April reading. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. We're going to start with one of these for an overall energy and then we're going to use this deck right here. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. What do we have for Aries for the month of April 2019? This is being recorded in March, so, you know, a lot of you are going to watch this in March. Keep in mind that this is for April. So, it may resonate now, but the, the deal is, is this is for April. I mean, it definitely could resonate right now for some of you. Because timing is fluid. But... You can you notice the, the the tag says April. New beginnings. Fresh start. This is the fool. This would also represent Aries. So you guys are about to start at zero. I mean really brand new. I mean, it's like the world is, is under your feet. It's beneath you. You have so many options. This card is about taking a risk, stepping into the unknown, the complete unknown. Zero is literally, you know, not bringing the past with you. A complete fresh start. Clean slate. You know, at the very, very, very beginning. You're back at the very, very, very beginning. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, some of you guys are um, <laughs> the Six of Cups reverse. That's clinging to the past, clinging to the memories. But I think you're releasing them. I think you are releasing the past. Stuff that no longer emotionally fulfills you. That's what I think. I think you are shutting down, you are, you're emotionally shutting down, holding on to those memories, you know, holding on, clinging, I, that's what I think this is. You may be relocating. You may be uh, coming to the conclusion that there's no more emotional contentment wherever you're at. You probably are relocating with that fool card. Some of you are relocating or you have decided to uh, plant your seeds someplace else. Maybe you're moving forward with blind faith. Because you have to have faith to step into the unknown. And this is blind faith. So maybe you have decided to take the unconventional route. Somebody has been in a situation where there's no more growth. There's no more happiness there. Right? And it's caused them some sort of emotional turmoil. There's been a lot of, of, of uh, maybe tears or emotional discontent clinging to some memories of the past. And I feel like, you know, this unhappiness that you have been in, this unhappy period, this stressful period where you may have felt like there was no growth or you may have felt like... There was a lot of suffering. I feel like you have come to the conclusion that 
perhaps you're better off heading in a new direction that you have the ability to take care of yourself that I think that you've had some sort of um, maybe it's renewed faith that you know you're abundant you're more abundant than you thought you were you're more uh, able to take care of yourself I feel like you've you've come to some sort of conclusion or you've decided or you've had some sort of epiphany that I'm good. I got this. I'm strong enough. I see it's like a newfound abundance with who you are. It's like, I know who I am. I don't need to stay in this situation anymore. I'm strong enough. Yeah, some of you have made a decision that you are going to be happy. I'd be better off on my own than, than in this emotional discontent situation, whatever that is. Yeah, some of you are getting unstuck. You've made a decision. You've come out of confusion. By April, you guys are going to have a new beginning. And this new beginning is going to lead you towards abundance. And it's because you find the strength to make a decision, perhaps to relocate or go your own way. You know, go in a different direction. It looks like that's what's happening here. I feel like you guys are taking back your power. You're restoring control. You're breaking free from a toxic situation. That's what we got here. You guys are releasing. You guys are releasing something that was unrequited. Something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. This could be a partner. It could be. It could be. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Leo. Um, it could be a Pisces. I think I said that already. It could be Taurus. Um, it feels as though you guys are absolutely taking back control of your life because wherever you've been, it's been emotional, it's been intense, you've been feeling overly sensitive, um, there's been a lack of emotional fulfillment, there's been no growth, there's been no happiness, there's been poor health, and it's like, yeah, I think that you guys have come to the conclusion that it's time for me to hold my head up high and go someplace else. So I feel like you guys have decided to go someplace else. It's like, it's like you're ready to take that risk. You may be deciding to travel. You may be deciding to move, really like relocate to another spot in the world, some of you. Um... Ooh, some if you are the female watching this, you may ha be uh, receiving an offer, um, a big offer of emotional support, or even um, a new love offer from from a water sign. Could be anybody else. Whoever this person is, this person is emotionally available. And if you are the male, this is you that has good intentions. This is you that is opening your heart, following your heart, mastering your emotions. And maybe for the female as well. So somebody here is mastering their emotions and deciding that it's time to follow my heart. I got to follow my heart. So somebody is deciding that it's time to follow their heart towards happiness. And that may mean that, you know, they have to go their own way, go on their own. Maybe they're, maybe they've made, they're, they're making a decision that, you know, I have to go my own way because that's what my heart tells me I need to do. Um, if you are the female watching this, you could be having a man that is watching you and sees your, your abundance. They see your, that you were, that you, um, have a lot of self-worth, that you, um, are a hard worker. They see that you are very self-sufficient and strong, and maybe they want to start a relationship with you. Um, this could go for male or female. I feel like there's a new relationship that is going to probably start after somebody has been single for quite some time. Okay, if you have been single for a while, and I mean for a while, you've worked on yourself, you're abundant, you're feeling good, 
you know, you're no longer stuck. You've been through your period of enlightenment. You've been through your struggle. You probably have a new beginning. If you have been in a coupled relationship, it feels as though somebody is making a decision to master their emotions and perhaps break free from a toxic situation. So some of you are breaking free from a toxic situation and that is no lie. Okay? That's what the devil is reversed. Somebody is getting unstuck. If you have been single, you know, I feel like there's an offer coming in. There's an offer coming in that could lead to happiness. And you are being called to move forward with blind faith to just take that jump, take that leap, take that risk. Um, nine of Wands right over this Nine of Pentacles. Now this Nines are closure. So I feel like your hard work has paid off. The struggle that you have been through, the wounds that you have been through, have taught you something. You've learned something. I think that your perseverance, your ability to, you know, stand strong is bringing you some sort of blessing. It is bringing you some sort of blessing. And I think it's because you make that decision to let go of something that is discontent and disheartening. I think you guys are making a, a serious decision to head in a new direction. And because you have seriously made the decision, it's like, I'm not going to think about it. The decision is made. Because somebody has made a decision to not focus on hurt, to not focus on loss now they have a better opportunity they do they have an opportunity for happiness here somebody is coming with an offer or somebody is giving you emotional support i think it's like the storm is over you guys are all like Phew. yes i believe that the storm is over i do Emotional fulfillment is coming. It's coming. But it's. I think it's with something new. Okay? It's not with the past. It's not. So if those of you that are holding on to the past, I don't know. I, I think that's not it. That's not it. Since some somebody has made a decision to let go of the past... Because there's no emotional fulfillment there and they're moving forward into a whole new life. Nines are absolutely closure. Nine, nine, nine. It's a sign to move on when you see nine, nine, nine. I'm a number nine. In numerology, it, says it is. It's about closure. You've come to the end of the road with a certain situation and it's time for your new beginning. You've gained a lot of strength. You've gained wisdom. Look how far you have come. Now it's time for you to enjoy the finer things in life. Be grateful for the lessons. Things are starting to get better even though you've been through a very troublesome period That period of despair and anguish and sadness and guilt is just about over. There's the confusion that you have been dealing with is about to dissipate. It's like there's things are going to start to become more clear. Things that have been hidden in things that have held you back, that the, the illusions that you have held on to are about to dissolve. Clarity is coming. There's no need to feel guilty for following your own path. 
somebody has been in a karmic situation in which they were not treated fairly. And now I think that it's time to be practical. It's time for things to get real. There's been a lack of realness here, okay? Somebody has been in a very... ungrounded, unrealistic, unpractical situation, you know? And I think there's been a loss of security. It's been instable. It's been insecure. And it's because somebody was living in an illusion of some sort. Somebody was stuck in their confusion and illusion. And it's time to get grounded, take back control. It's time to come back to reality. This is reality check. This is lack of reality. It's like coming back to reality. Um, somebody was in an unstable, unrealistic situation, period. And it feels like now they have realized that I don't need to be here anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So I really feel like the, the terrible injustice that you have been through is just about over. I do. You were probably dealing with a person that was only using you perhaps for your money who knows and and it's been a constant battle it's been a constant struggle there's been a lot of tension but it looks like somebody has bled long enough I can't do it anymore not gonna play this game I don't want to play this game anymore I don't want to be in this game I don't want to, I don't need this conflict I'm sick of it so I think that you've been trying to avoid letting go but I think that you can't avoid it anymore I don't, I think that it's time for your happiness to happen. I think that you've been thinking, 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 and, you know, now it's really time for you to take action. Stop waiting. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and perhaps you've lost your ambition and you've lost your drive and you're probably your health has gone down, but I think it's, it's definitely time for a change. So this is what has happened. You guys have lost your vigor. There's been no growth in a current situation. And it's like it's time for that new beginning. It's time for that new life. It's time for you to be valued. I think you were in a situation where you weren't valued. You may have been dealing with a person who was suspicious and jealous. And only after your abundance, okay? What you had to offer them, that's it. But you know, you know that it's time to go. You know that it's there's no more growth there. I think your intuition has been saying, you know what? You've been strong. Your faith is persevering. Happiness is coming. You have been strong. And I think that you guys are finding the strength to let go of something that just hurts you. I think you're ready to open up. You're mastering your emotions. Your intuition is telling you that you got to let go of something. Maybe you got to let go of fear. Your intuition is telling you that you are better than that, that you are stronger, that you can do it. And I feel like you know that it is time for you to recover. It's time for you to recuperate. It's time for you to let go of those old ideas and old ways. Because whatever it is that you've been hanging on to, there's no togetherness. There's no working together. There's no compromise. There's no respect. And there we go. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to start over. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for you to step forward into the unknown with faith. So, Aries... 
You have a brand new beginning here. And it doesn't include the past. Because the only thing the fool takes on this new journey is the life experiences he can fit in that bag. That's it. The rest is all left behind. So you guys are starting at zero. Clean slate, fresh start. You guys are stepping into unknown territory. And you're being called to have blind faith. Do not let fear hold you back. Those past experiences, they have given you the strength that you need to persevere. You have the ability to be abundant in this new journey. You do. I see that. Happiness is around the corner. Step into the unknown. This is your chance to start over. But I'm going to tell you one more time. The past is not included. Should we get an oracle card? Let's get one of these angel ones. I haven't used this deck in a while. Aries has a, a fresh new start here. <laughs> Brand new. In, in unknown territory. You know? You could have somebody new coming into your life. You could. But it's after you move. Whatever, whatever, after you take the step. Whatever step that is. You have to face your uncertainty with faith, okay? Don't let uncertainty hold you back because I can see that you have the ability to be successful. The ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining, imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. So this is a release. It really is. It's a release. It's a clean slate. It's a cleansing. You have a, the ability to let go of the past at this time and to start over completely in a new direction where you've never been. This is a complete new direction. So Aries, that's what I have for April. I feel like you guys are starting over on your own. The fool starts a journey by themselves. So good luck. <laughs> 